All right, so today we're going to be looking at Ubuntu 1204 LTS, and I chose to install the the uh, DVD version of it. Um, I had a couple of questions asking me what's on a DVD, and you know it's not really much uh, different, really. Let me go ahead and uh, show you the software. Um, of course, I do have some of my own software already installed, but um, uh, basically what it gives you is this GIMP, um, this Emacs, uh, I think a, a text editor or something, um, <clears throat> Inkscape and the open source uh, uh, Java as well as uh, what is this called here it is PITV or PDTV uh, this uh, video editor it has that too and I think also it has like the language packs and some other stuff but um, pretty much that's that's what comes on it um, anyways so this is the default desktop and and as everybody knows, if you're if you're familiar with Unity before, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a little bit more polished. They added some more features to it, but not really a whole lot of features. But it's still it's still cool. I do like it. So, anyways, um, they did remove the uh, <laughs> the window uh, dodge feature, which totally sucks because I, I prefer that. But there is a hack out there. If you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about, is when you uh, move the window to the left, right? and the dock you know dodges but it's not it doesn't do that anymore so pretty much uh, all you can really do is just right click on your desktop right <clears throat> and go to behavior and just tick that on and it just goes away right and there's also the the reveal uh, sensitivity if you look really closely you'll see like a little shadow barely peeking out when you put the mouse over the more pressure you put on it the shadow the bigger the shadow gets kinda like reminds you that there's a dock there if you can see that or not but then you just push it more then it, it reveals so that's pretty cool the look of it you know all you can really do here is just you know your launcher size you make it smaller if you want or uh, larger like that and also change your theme radiance if you want different wallpaper too so anyways <coughs> excuse me Alright, but anyways, there, there is some other stuff you can do with it, and but it takes extra software, right? Um, one software I do recommend is uh, MyUnity. Um, the reason why I like this one is because uh, it has this little default setting feature. So, like, if you're screwing around with this stuff, you know, I mean, you go here, you do this, and you mess around with that, or whatever, and, you know, you don't like what you did, you just click on default settings, click continue, and just resets that particular part of Unity back to default right it doesn't reset the whole thing just the launcher that's what I like about it you set that to hidden see there's dash too if you wanted to you can you know mess around with that blur off or whatever desktop <clears throat> then you go up here with your dash and there it is but if you don't like it like that you can just like I said before just reset it to default there we go take that off on desktop that's how I like it all right anyways there's also some other stuff where the you know your uh, transparency for your your panel um, you know if you want it to be transparent like so like that you know little things like that fonts themes you know as well <clears throat> it's pretty cool uh, if you want to take it a step further I do recommend a uh, Ubuntu tweak um, the reason the one biggest reason why I recommend this one over that one um, is the janitor that's built into it um, you can select like your applications, like your basically your internet stuff, your your browser cache. It'll delete all that stuff if you wanted to. Your old kernels, if you get any any kernel updates, it'll delete those as well, along with unneeded packages and config files. So it's a good way to keep your system clean. And um, and also it does you know the same thing as that. You know you can go to your uh, your tweak settings. You know with like your uh, Unity. Here it is. Your launcher size, your your dash, you know, panel opacity, it does all that too. You can also turn on HUD if you wanted to, and HUD is is another new feature that the Unity is offering right now. Um, like if I want to make a new folder and you hit the Alt key, oops, sorry, Alt and new new folder, and there you go. So HUD is just basically a new way of, uh, you know navigating through windows you know discovering new new options and, and programs I guess a little bit easier you know what I mean uh, this this uh, little uh, source center right here 
Uh, this this one you gotta be kind of you know be careful with. Um, come on, sync. Browser. There it goes. All right. Basically, what this does is just you know adds extra PPAs. You know what I mean? For like Google Chrome or or uh, Firefox betas, stuff like that. If you if you've been on Ubuntu for a while, this is no problem. But if you're new to it, uh, I would be very careful with this because you might break your system. So that's the only problem I have with Ubuntu Tweak that it, as much as I like it, you can kind of get into trouble with it. So just be careful. And also you can change your login settings as well. You know, you can turn off the login sound if you want, or the grid, that little, uh, those little polka dots, I guess, you know, when you log in. So anyways, that's enough of that. Um, I wanted to go over some other things I, that I uh, encountered, which are bugs. Um, the previous bug from Alknaric, the window title bar bug, this right here, see how the hand doesn't synchronize with the, the title bar? That's still there, and that totally sucks. You know what I mean? I was hoping it would fix it. I submitted my workaround, but I guess it didn't didn't happen. Anyways, if you want to work around this this issue, if it does affect you, uh, install your uh, Compiz Config Settings Manager. Look for Snapping Windows, right? Snapping Windows right here. <clears throat> Let me just uh, show it. I mean, go back. All right. When this launches, you'll get a big fat error saying that, well, not an error, but a warning saying, you know, be careful with this piece of software because you could potentially, uh, you know, leave your desktop un unusable. So in the filter box, just look for snapping windows. Go into here, go to behavior, then go to uh, edge resistance and screen edges. Just untick that. And that should, you know, help with the problem. There we go. And another bug that I encountered on my uh, two other machines is that if you're a Ubuntu One user um, and you get like a really high CPU spike and a memory leak or whatever, it's just it's pretty much what happens for me is that when I log in, my my Ubuntu One syncing, um, my my RAM goes from like 500 megs to like a gig and a half, and my CPU is spiked for like at least 15 minutes. So what I did was I just purged it out, purged out uh, you know Ubuntu One and pretty much solved the problem. Hopefully there'll be a fix later on, but it doesn't happen on this machine. This only happens on, on my, my laptop and my uh, secondary machine in my bedroom. But anyways, what else I was going to show you guys? The Ubuntu uh, Software Center is now finally a little bit quicker. <laughs> All right. So it's a lot faster now. When you install a piece of software, you know, this little animation happens. You click on that. You should see the icon, you know, shoot out to the dock. That was really fast, but it did it. There it is right there. Just install that. Very snappy. One thing I kind of want to see, hopefully in the future, is maybe like a checkbox option, you know? Like, click on VLC, you know, mark for installation, and then, you know, go back to my software uh, selection here. Click on something else, you know, mark that for installation. Because usually when you're installing software, especially with the software center on, on an older machine uh, as it's installing it kind of bogs down the whole system you know what I mean if I can just you know just check what I want install it and just I like, kind of walk away for a bit that'd be fine kind of like the synaptic package manager that's that's kind of like how that works so anyways if you want to look at the purchased items you just go up in here for purchase and there's some stuff you know to buy paid proprietary software uh, not too much but a lot of it like magazines and books and stuff like that, but there are some games, not too many. Hopefully it'll get better over time. Uh, here's your installed software. You can go to accessories, you know what I mean? You can remove it as well, you know, 7-zip, just remove that if you want. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, it's Unity. I can't really go into detail about everything because, you know, Unity is Unity. You know, it's pretty much... It is what it is, you know. You can't really customize it too much, but uh, well, one thing I should talk about is your privacy. Because when you first log in, um, pretty much your your uh, your your stuff, I guess, all your files and stuff are gonna be displayed all over the place. So go to your privacy, and where it says past hour, just click all, delete your history, and turn that off. You know, what I mean, just turn it off, 
and that should help you know, remove that problem. If, if you don't mind having your, your, your pictures and stuff being displayed in the dash, then that's fine. But if you don't want that to happen, just do what I just did. And you can also add a, a folder or directory. So I just added my home folder. Just clicked on that and hit OK. And also you can also um, you know choose not to you know record any type of a history from your video or audio or whatever. And also your applications as well. That's pretty cool that it does that too. You know what I mean? Like um, like LibreOffice. If you're doing any type of a spreadsheet work or whatever, you want that be, you don't want that to be displayed. I guess you'll do that too. Cancel that. Diagnosis. So yeah. So Unity, I don't know. I like it a lot now. You know, it, it, it took a while for me. You know what I mean? It, I've always liked what it was doing, like canonical. Like I understand the direction they're going. You know, but just um, for a while, Unity felt more like a niche desktop where I had to find a spot for it rather than put it on my main machine. But now that it's here and it, it kind of you know went through this little evolution process, I guess, and now I really like it. You know, I, I don't mind having this on my main machine now. So anyway, what do you guys think about it? You know, I think it's cool. I think it's still lame. I don't know. Anyways, see you guys later.